Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Dying Light. This is episode 34, and we have to find a spray paint. That is our goal. Hopefully it's a little bit easier to find than, say, the crayons were. I did not enjoy my finding experiences with that. It was quite unpleasant. But I'm sure we'll figure something out. Oh, there's a nice little, like, pathway up here. Eh. I say we'll take a shortcut, but apparently that was not a shortcut. Alright, there we go. We are in the safe zone of this area. I do not see... Oh, there's some stuff over here. Okay. There's a statue. A nailed plank. What else? The door we can open, apparently. Or not. Or apparently we can't open it. I guess that's fine, too. Sleeping quarters, a nailed plank. Looks like there's a shop in here. He just wants to trade. He's just like, I'm tired. <laughs> Stuff like that, you know. You know how they do. Alright, oh god. I almost jumped to my death. Jump, jump, jump to my death. Alright, well, here we go. We survived that. I guess we'll look around the bottom level. I I don't know. Is he going to show up with my little survivor sense? Is that going to be a thing? That well, might be in the garbage. Nope, doesn't appear to be. Well, darn it. I'm going to have to look harder, aren't I? Hmm. Well, I'm not really seeing it yet. It says it's here somewhere. I mean, I'll believe him, but it'd be nice to know where, where somewhere it is. <laughs> Alright, we'll come up here. Now, this is going to put us back on the roof, so I don't, I don't really know. Is it going to be obvious, or... Not obvious? I mean... Where is the spray paint? Do we trade with this guy? Sort of at a loss here. What is over here? Ah, there's some paint. Okay, we got one. Okay, well, that's going to make it a little bit easier. Ah, there we go. Now we have another one. Sweet. I don't see any more, but that doesn't necessarily mean there isn't any more. Oh gosh, that was kind of scary. <laughs> Ow, we hurt ourselves. Well, thank you for that random explosion that you just decided to throw out there, buddy. That was super <laughs> duper useful. Okay. Oh, it's going to be down there. Alright. So here we go. We found all the paint. Yay, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Okay. Go to the roof and use the paint to mark the chopper's landing pad. Well, that seemed kind of interesting. I suppose I could do that if I had to. Alright, uh, which roof? Oh, over that way. Oh, okay, well then I guess I'm jumping back down! Oh. I look like I had the potential to really, really mess myself up there. But it appears I'm fine. Through it all, apparently I did okay. Get over here past the news van and up onto the roof of the school, I guess. Okay, so we're here, we're on the roof, and we have to do something here. And how do I do this, exactly? And use the paint. Is that a thing I can do? Well, I guess we'll figure it out, won't we? Um... Uh... 
I don't know how to use the paint. Do I just, like, look at the ground and press F or something? I mean... Oh, hello. I could just do it in blood, guys. You know, we didn't really have to get paint. Just saying. I, I'm here, man. I'm totally here. Don't know what you want me to do. Oh, there it goes. It's like walk over and just spam F, I guess. Oh, okay, I see. I see it's kind of written there. Alright, alright, that makes sense now. The little grayed out lines. Okay, that's fine. Cool. We'll hop on down. It did not really do much to shield us from the fall, but it's okay. Alright, the roof's been painted. Good. Now there is one last thing. There's a duffel bag in a locker on the second floor. I'd like you to bring it to me. Since you'll probably open it, there's no point trying to hide the fact that there's $24.7 million inside it. One third of it is yours. Holy crap. You bring it back. Why doesn't Edward get it? Uh, there are too many biters there. I can't risk losing him. We'd be completely defenseless. And this money's yours? Most of the bank's depositors are no longer human. Stealing from them isn't a crime. Why have you never once taken the wallet off a biter that you've beaten to death? Mm. Okay, I'll recover the bag, but there's no calling in the evac until I say so. When I bring back the money, I'm taking the radio. That is unacceptable. Yeah, but you'll accept it anyway because you have no choice. Heh. You're worse than cream. Very well. I accept your terms. Why don't I just take the radio now, because he could call in the evac, even before I get there. How do I... How do I get up to the next level? Hmm. Kid, move. Well, I don't know how to do this, but we'll figure it out, I suppose. Alright, well, we're gonna go... I guess up and over. That is absolutely not the right item. Alright, so there's gonna be a way to get to where I need to go. Probably from down here. Ow, I gotta stop doing these horrible jumps. It's a real problem with me. Oh, well, okay. Well, this could end very, 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 very poorly. Uh, Errol has stolen nearly $25 million from the bank. Okay. Well, good for him. Good for him. Let's see if we can't get this handled. Alright. Kind of wander around. Oh! Hi! Sub dude. Plumber zombie. Why are we in this room exactly? Like, is there a reason to be here? Oh, this doesn't seem like we're on the second floor. It seems like we're on the empty, of course. On the first floor, like or even the basement floor. I, I mean, I don't. But of course, that wasn't going to work. We should have known better. Shower zombies. Sorry, Green. I had no choice. Green said I was a fool to trust you. It's not what you think. not be alive anymore. Oh, you're back up. You didn't learn your lesson, did you, buddy? Now you're you're half the man you used to be. 
What is going Oh, there's the roof entrance. Okay, let's leave the school. We could have gone on a looting spree, but I'd rather see what's up. Apparently Errol was willing to fly me out, but the evac people knew who I was. Errol came up with the phony money story to keep me busy while he got his family out. Guess I can't really blame him. He says he left something for me on the roof. I should go have a look. It's probably going to be a bomb or something terrible like that. We'll see. We will see. Alright, let's kick open the door. I wish it would stop turning off my light. Oh. Hello, Crane. How's your day been? Hey, it's... It's Kareem. I guess yeah, I talked I thought to Kareem. we had an understanding. I think we have a better understanding now. But, if you want to shoot me... Another time, maybe. I eh. did leave you a few goodies. I was going to nick them, but I thought... No, Crane's earned them. Let him have them. Well, you're almost okay, Kareem. <laughs> almost. Until next time. Uh, Good luck, Kareem. You're almost okay. Exactly. Alright, looks like we're about to pop our survival dealy. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Give me something good, buddy. Uh, some, ooh, good. Some sur free survivor points and apparently some med kits. I like both of these things. Flares don't care about so much. Eh, well, we'll take it. I mean, it's, it's something for us, right? Yeah, and we're pretty close to both our agility and our power level up, too. And he left a, a locked box up here, which is a little bit weird, just to say. Wow, well, we did that really easy. I will right, we'll take it. Alright, what do we have? What do we have? It's a clown. Ooh, it's a baseball bat. A merciless baseball bat. A pouch. Well, it is what it is. They medevaced out. I guess it's fine. Well, that, I guess, will do it for us on that one. Let's deal with, uh... I guess fatigue, is that what we're doing? Uh, assault and batteries. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Actually, I promised you guys I was gonna do some of the storyline mission this time. We'll do um, Togol and Fatine later. We'll do uh, this, the saviors. I hope I can come back to the side of the city. Well, if not, my apologies, folks. Oh, there's some free stuff here. There's that GRE menacing, like, evil industrial. Uh, shady business music here. There it is. Yeah. Give me something good. Give me something good. Yeah, it's, could be better. <laughs> so I wouldn't necessarily call it good, but... Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Yeah, you don't get to live. Sorry, buddy. I attack your people with extreme prejudice. There it is. And our trip up and over. And it looks like we're going to go over here on to the, the bridge. The bridge. Oh, there's nothing in there. That is unfortunate. And it looks like we have to go off of the bridge. I will take that, and we're actually pretty close, but it looks like people are in trouble. I should probably help. Kill some zombies off here. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you should. I think that's a very good idea. I will take the survivor rank, thank you very much. And I am going to use that skill point right now. That's right, we're going to go and... I guess we'll finish this off. The boosters have a much longer lasting effect. It's longer, it's stronger. Maybe. Maybe it's longer and stronger. I don't know. Alright, nope, we gotta get up higher, huh? Okay. Go up to the roof. And then we gotta get lower, which is fine. And there we are. Knockity knock knock knock. What do you want? I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. 
What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. Okay, we can wait. We can wait. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. Really? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Right. Well, there you go. Come here. I'm here. Okay. We'll get you to the other side. Right when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Really? Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. All right, buddy. Let's get on with our. Let's get on with getting on, I guess. And we'll loot your little basket up here and get some smokes. Yeah. That's totally not gonna upset any zombies. We know that for sure. Good luck keeping up with me, guys. Not always the easiest dude to follow. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, if you manage it, wonderful and, and super good to you, but I tend to run in some very odd metaphysical circles, guys, and it's kind of hard to keep up. Just saying. Just saying. All right, there should be a tunnel around here somewhere. And there it is. And now I have to somehow get across the way. Oops, I missed my drop kick. I know you guys are all shocked by this. I'm totally shocked as well. Do I have what it takes to find the... Apparently not. Really? There's nobody closing in on me? Oh, she doesn't seem to notice me, so whatever. We'll, we'll keep going, I guess. Nailed it! Alright. It's a paladin and a mighty double bit axe. That seems pretty epic. Yeah, you're not getting up from that lady. Sorry. Alright. There it is. Victory is mine. Sounds like a hazmat zombie is nearby. Alright, into the tunnel I guess I go. Let's hope I survive it. Hmm. Is there a way through here? Or? Oh god, there is. Holy crap. That was unexpected. I mean, I really, really didn't think that was coming through. But hey, you know what? I managed it. Well, it's going down. Well, so far, not too bad. Do I need to be up there? I mean, is that a thing? It needs to happen. Oh my goodness. Traffic tunnel or something about the sewers. I don't know. All sorts of weird junk is going on. I'm not even sure what to think anymore, to be honest. We're going to try to go through it. We're going into a dark tunnel, I think. Or a dark area, rather. Definitely pick this, probably. Darn, it was close. Man, it sucks to get like right on it and you can't quite finish and then it's just a, such a slight movement after that and if you're not 100% on point, that's so bad. Are you speaking? Just wanted to remind you to not be playing Heroes in the Dark, huh? Come get on, it's one of the best games ever, Heroes in the Dark. 
All right, we're gonna enter the sewers now. This might be exciting. Something new, something exciting, huh? At first, Jank was reluctant to even talk to me, but after I mentioned what I did to Rice, the Saviors decided to give me a hand. They helped me get to Sector Zero. To Sector Zero we go. Watch, I'll have like Tyrannosaurus zombies over there or something. Get your ass to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good luck. Green? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names. Huh, why don't I trust this guy? Alright, well, he does seem to have a gun. Oh, I just have to follow him. I can't even do anything. That's weird. I mean, normally you'd expect to have, like, a pistol whipped out and ready to murder some fools here, but apparently not. Oh, that's kind of unpleasant. The floor is alive. Wow, that, there's a lot of bugs. Try to keep our, our boots somewhat clean. Wow, look at all the Hey, it's it's the douche. Look, Dad, it's Mr. Crane. It's the douche, Dawood. Well, well. Small world. Dawood, we need to talk about your situation. Sorry about the wild goose chase, but I couldn't risk you tailing me. These guys are pretty serious about following their procedures. This isn't fair to Salma. Salma and me are done. That's not the point. So, what is? You got something in mind? I've still got a gun, you know. Crane, we've got the rule. Everybody minds their own business. If you don't follow the rules, you don't go through. <sighs> no problem. <laughs> Kid's got the the Zelda sword, by the way, guys. The Master Sword sitting there in his hand. What? Pretty sweet. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. From here on out, you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. All right. Well, now that it's it's my way or the highway or whatever, we I should need to do this one by one, and this man needs to go first. But he just got here. We've been here for hours. I don't make the rules. Wait here. Oh God! What's he doing? Holy crap! Oh, this is gonna be unpleasant. Off, ladies and gentlemen. Gosh, what if we couldn't hold our breath long enough? Oh man, how's that kid ever gonna do this? <laughs> like, how's the kid ever gonna be able to handle that? I don't. I don't hmm. I want to be in a safe area. Yeah, Spider-Man on our way up. Taking some shortcuts. What's going on? I can't see very well. Hope my screen clears off soon. Sit down, arrow that way. Guess we go this way. We tried to keep the route clear, but there may be some infected here and there. Shouldn't be a problem for you, though. This is true. I do tend to have a they love to hate me relationship with the infected. Really? Man, that was weird. I thought for sure I had it at the first beginning of that little dealie, but then the second beginning totally didn't work for me. I know, it doesn't make sense because there's only one beginning usually. Uh, having two is a bit odd. Well, there's an infected rat there. Bye. Bye. Well, I suppose I'll get some coffee off of you. Oh, hey, look at you hitting me with your not arm. How did that work? You have an arm and you pimp slap me with it.
Yeah, you guys are all having kind of a bad day, aren't you? I mean, do I really need to murder all of you? Probably not, but is it fun? The answer is yes, yes it is. And we didn't use a repair again. It is sweet, sweet, nice. Oh. What's up, Runny? I don't like that sound. Uh oh. What do I need to do here? I need to open that, huh? Okay, well, I know a way of solving this problem right now that is going to be very pleasing to me. It's going to be missing a lot of shots. The zombies don't sit still, they like to move around slightly. They tend to lumber a little bit. Alright, oh, yeah, uh-huh, what happened? Oh, oh, no, no, you don't want me to... Dude's like, what's going on, lady? Well, I suppose I could reload and we'll finish this guy off nice and slow and steady like. And bam, another shot. Dude's got the hardest head in the world. You're a Zambi. There he goes, down he is, and victory is ours. That's sweet, sweet, nice style. We'll take coffee and all sorts of other various things. At least they allowed us to keep our gun, and that's pretty cool. Alright, so we did that. He looks like he's trying to get back up, but it's not really working. You have 184 bucks, we will take it. And it looks like we can be on our way now at this point. Fortunately, we did have to kill our way through that. There was a new possible scenario that we could have done this. And the amount of time before the big dude came and murdered our face. Or a bunch of the little zombies came. So, let's open this up. And continue on our way. Oh, crap. Yeah, as soon as I saw what it was, I couldn't stop in time. I'm like, no, it was too late. Bad Bumpy being Bad Bumpy. I'm like, haha, he's not looking at me. No, don't left click. Oh, I hope I don't have to do all that again. I shouldn't, though. Why did it hurt me that time? It didn't hurt me last time. Oh well. I didn't complain too much about it. What? Really? It didn't work, huh? Okay, well, whatever. I'll just keep dying and doing stupid stuff. You guys can laugh at me. Much nicer when I'm not getting assaulted by boomers, or bombers as it were. Exploding zombies. Oh no. You're lucky you duck, lady. Oh, they don't do a very good job of keeping these this, these tunnels clear like they said. They're like, oh, we do a pretty good job, but there might be a few infected in here. And, uh, yeah. That's more than a few, man. That is way, way more than a few. I'm just saying. You guys might need to send, like, sentries through or something. Or maybe post them, you know? Post some sentries to make sure infected don't, uh, don't infest the tunnels like they have been. There we go. Got it! Ooh, you hear the epic music playing? Not quite like that, but it's a little bit like that. There it is. Yeah. Sorry, I had to do full concentration. I was going to break another lock because I'd be like, yeah, man up time. Sure, we'll take that. We'll take this. There's nobody else coming to murder us. Excellent. All sorts of various things on the ground. We'll search through that, I suppose. I think the batteries disappeared, actually. Cigarettes there. A pouch. A box I don't have to pick to open, which is going to be nice. Our agility level is really close to leveling up as well. We're getting more and more corfy. Ooh, there's a police rifle on the ground with some more rifle ammo, which I like. 
All right, I guess we continue on, but where and how? Ah. How are we supposed to get up there? Like, I know how we can get up there, but... How are normal people supposed to... Actually, maybe I don't know how we can get up there. Huh. Is this... Like, this isn't some sort of, like, trick or joke or something for us here? Not even sort of open it. Hmm. I'm actually quite concerned at this point. Like, I suppose we can come back this way and, aha, uh -huh, there is a way up. Okay. Makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, there's gonna be some bed kit stuff in here. I like that. We'll take it. Alright, so we go this way, around, and in through the door, we kill the boomer. Or the, the spitter, I guess. What do we do from here? We go up that way? I guess we do. Okay. Got some more painkillers, which is sweet, sweet, nice. Uh, we need some syringes, though, still. Alright, and down we go. That's not cool. Told you I couldn't trust that guy. Told you I couldn't trust him. Alright, well, let's... Wow. We just got murdered. What the heck? Like, how could they shoot me through the floor? I don't know about that. I feel like I, I kind of got cheated there a little bit. I'm just saying. Like, perhaps, maybe they could do with a little bit less... Oh, what the heck? Like we just got shot a bunch of times, but nothing actually hit us. Man, he can hold his breath forever. Like, we're not even taking damage right now. I don't understand. Oh, I'm seeing our breath meter now. So I guess it doesn't go right away. Only eventually. Oh man. Oh, there. Alright. What do we do now? Oh, we're gonna have to go through this. Okay. Well, let's hope my shooting skills have gone up a little bit, guys and gals. Actually, you know what? Let's break out the episode here. You guys don't get to see me die to the shooting puzzle. And I will come back and do it in the following episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, yeah, storyline missions are getting a little bit more tough, a little bit more challenging. I'm definitely dying to stupid stuff and just lack of skill stuff. But overall, I think we're, we're going to get through it. Either way, folks, we're going to survive the ambush, and we're going to continue on while well, we have survived the ambush up to this point, and we'll continue on in the very next episode. Thanks for joining me, and until the next episode, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.